Hi, my name is Carlos Shigedomi and I am one of the sales engineers here at MirrorPath. Most of you are already familiar with the console servers, whether you use it as an in-band, out-of-band solution in your data center or in your engineering lab for your tests. Today I thought I would share with you three useful features of the console servers that can make things easier for you. Most of console servers, regardless of the manufacturer, should have these features standard. On your console server, there is a serial data logging feature which logs all the information coming from your target device's serial port. This is helpful because you can monitor or review data history. Data logs can be timestamped and alerted via any text string or event. This is for power management integration with serial session. Within a serial session, you can power control the target device if it is connected to a supported rack PDU. Here's my SSH session accessing a Cisco switch. I hit Ctrl P to bring me to the power management utility. I select off to power off the switch, then on to power it on. Exit to go back to the serial session so I can see the boot messages of the switch. Customers use this feature a lot to bring up unresponsive devices during their QA process. The last feature is more useful if you are using the console server as an outband management solution at remote sites. Some console servers have wireless capabilities, so instead of using a traditional analog line, you can use cellular connectivity via Verizon or AT&T. This was just a brief overview of some of the important features of the console servers. There are many other useful features, from scripting capabilities to multi-use support. If you have any questions, please contact us at 1877-MirrorPath or send us an email to support at mirrorpath.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.